Wonderful, wonderful. Lovely to meet you. Oh, uh, thanks. I got so excited about a year ago in TV Guide, there was an article about Rosie, and they asked you what your favorite TV show was as a kid growing up, and you said, eight is enough. I, oh, I got all excited to see that. It's true, because, you know, my mom died, and like uh -huh. on, on your show, how Diana Hyland died the first season. That's then right. they brought in Betty Buckley, Abby. Right, exactly. And I wanted my father to meet Abby. Uh-huh. And have, you know, I really did. Oh, I thought, that's cute. Because right. she was a nice mom. She right. came she in. She was wonderful. None of the kids hated her. I know. You which know, is not really realistic. <laughs> <laughs> when, um, when the Diana Hyland was the lady that played my wife originally, and yeah. she died after the fourth show, she was engaged to be married to John Travolta. Right. And, and uh, she won the Emmy that year. That's right. And he accepted. Right. And I thought that that would be the end of the uh, Eight is Enough when she died, you know, but then they had me play, they sort of wrote it into the script. I was playing a widower for about a year, and then they had Betty Buckley come in, and uh, I married Betty Buckley, yeah, and it got it a tremendous nice. rating. I saw Betty Buckley last week. In Chicago, yeah. I was doing Showboat uh, for the last seven months in the Chicago company of no Showboat, wow. pl playing opposite my sister Joyce Van Patten. Really? It was the first time a brother and sister, and as husband and wife. Wow! Yeah. It was the first time since um, Ethel Barrymore and Lionel Barrymore that a brother and sister played opposite each other. Well, that's great. And Betty was doing in town doing uh, the words and music of Andrew Lloyd Webber, so she came to see my show. I went to see her show. We had dinner every night. It was great to see. She her. came on my show too. I know she. I watched her, and, and she I'm... talked about me with. The big gold Oldsmobile convertible, and her with a little dinky car. Exactly. I know, I was laughing did she, you have that big Oldsmobile? I had the big guy. She would park next to me. You know, it's a Dick Van Patten, this big flashy car, and she had this little rinky dinky car. The next, it looks so funny, you know. Betty Buckley, this little dopey car, me this big. <laughs> car. Do you still great. see any of the kids, Adam I, Rich? I see them all. How's Adam, Adam Rich doing? Okay, I'm glad right? you asked because he wasn't all right. Remember, as a kid, yeah. he had problems. Yeah. He got into drugs, and I tried to help him, but. I tell you the truth, when, when kids get into drugs and you try to, there's not really much you can do until they want to help themselves. And he sure has. He's now an assistant director at the Disney Studios, and three nights a week he helps kids that are on drugs. And I spoke to him last night, and he's doing great. Oh, that, it, how old is he, he now? He's, well, he was seven when it started, so he's 26 now. Oh, gosh. 26. Yeah, now he's a wonderful actor. He, he's not tall, he's about four foot 11, so it's hard to cast him. So actually, he's doing well as an assistant director. I think that will lead into directing, too. Well, good. I'm glad he's doing it right. You know yeah. who I see always? Who? Grant Goody. Uh, Grant wrote that song that you heard, the theme. And that Would you like to hear it again? Yeah. There's a magic in the early morning <laughs> I love it. Remember the chorus? Because the aid is enough to fill our lives with love. You're amazing. That's I wonderful love it. that you, you know. do it. Yeah. I know you're your sons. Well, yes. I met your son, well, Nils. Vincent, Vincent was a crew baby, just like uh, your son. Oh, really? He had the croup, and he almost died one night, because they had to send an ambulance to the house, and we had to rush into the hospital. Isn't he couldn't get his. It's the worst thing I ever went through. And uh, so I'm, I'm, when you said that, I was so th that's what Vincent did, too. He was a croup baby. And now, that you know what they say when you have the croup, that uh, unless it was severe, like my son's was kind of severe, you're supposed to go in the shower and put on the steam. Steam. Yeah. That, yes, then exactly then... what the doctors told us. If yeah. it happens again, to put on the steam in the shower and get like a steam room. You know? Boy, it's scary. Me. I know, it's awful. How many it, kids do you have? Three sons, three Nels, sons. who you just mentioned. Nels I met at a park. Did he tell you this? Uh, no, no. I was at the park playing baseball or something with some friends, and there's this handsome guy walking by with a baseball bat and mitt on the end of it, and he stops and he goes, mind if I hit some out to you ladies? Oh, I'm like, sure. Sense. And I'm, then I'm looking at him going, are you Nels Van Patten? That's and he right, was. Yeah. Well, he was engaged to Janet Jones for four years. You know, because you Wayne worked with Gretzky's Janet. Wife, well, he, right. he, you worked with Janet, didn't yes, you, in that did. movie? And then he introduced her to Wayne Gretzky, and she married Wayne. But, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he's married now to a lovely girl, Nancy Vallon. And Wayne and Janet and Nancy and Nels are very close, and they see each other all the time. No, the, and then I have another son, Jimmy. He's the only one that isn't blonde. And uh, Penny Marshall, she said, every time she looks at him, she says, he's the one that says, I can't help it, I'm not blonde. Yeah, so and Penny's other... way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got it now. You got it. So, they're all tennis players, and I hear you're a pretty good tennis player. Well, we do play tennis every Sunday for the last 17 years. Mel Brooks and I yeah. uh, play partners against, uh, well, it was uh, Gene Wilder and Carl Reiner, but now Gene is in London doing uh, Laughter on the 23rd Floor, so now Alan Alder has taken his place. So now it's Alan and Carl against me and Mel, and I tell you, those matches go on and on. It's very competitive out I, there. Now, they told me you cheat. No, they say I 
play dirty tennis. What I do, I try to distract them. In fact, they even did a, a video about me doing it. I, I wear a bathing suit. I wear black socks. I have loud music playing on the court. I had Nicolette Sheridan in, in a bikini walking back and forth <laughs> to distract them. I do all these things, and it's, it's really funny, and, and I wind up winning. And, uh, <laughs> And I know that your son, I think, which one, Nels or... Vincent Vince? was uh, on the tour, tennis tour, for nine years. He was in the top 20 in the world, and he beat John McEnroe twice when McEnroe was number one, when only four other players had ever beaten McEnroe. Really? So that was a great thing. Yeah. And now he's back into acting. He started as a child actor, and then he became a tennis player, and now he's back and into And you were acting. a child actor as well. And what, you want to hear something scary? This is What's so that? nostalgic. I used to do the Aldrich family from when it was before television. This was a radio station. This studio, we did the Aldrich family. Henry Aldrich came out of this very studio. No kidding. And when I was walking around, it brought me back to my childhood and everything. And the other studio where they do Saturday Night Live, that was Eddie Cantor. The Eddie Cantor show came from there. I used to do the Eddie Cantor show, too, sometimes. Really? As a kid, I was a kid actor. How right? old did you start? How old were you when you I was started? seven in the first Broadway seven. play. Uh, I was seven. And then I did 27 plays in a row on Broadway. And while I was doing the plays, I did all these radio shows. I was on The Young Widow Brown for 10 years. I played The Sun. So this this is like a home well, to me. Well, I'm glad here. you came back to say uh, hi to me. Thank you, Rosie. And I, I hope that you continue working. Are you doing Showboat anywhere else? Or no, you... that's it. That's I did it, it for seven months, and that was fine. I yeah. enjoyed it. But the whole cast, when they heard they were always good, the 76 people in the cast, when they heard I was doing your show, they were all excited. They all love you. Well, tell them I said hi if they're okay. watching. All right. Oh, man, <laughs> That's a hard song to sing. You ever try that? <laughs> Luckily, that wasn't yours on the show. Uh, Dick no. Van Patten, thank you so much for thank being you, here. Thank you, Rosie. It's lovely to meet you. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thank you.